Welcome to Radflix 1992. My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. What is a rad flick? A rad flick is a movie that has stood the test of time. And all of these movies today are certified rad by our panel of normal Canadians. This isn't all the movies that necessarily won all the big awards and all that sort of stuff, or the critics said was good back then. We have time on our side some things are going on in 1992 wrestlemania 8 this is basically when i stopped watching wrestling was right around this time they had the chance to have hogan and flair didn't come together 1992 for snl you know you got adam sandler chris farley mike myers dana Carter. you got everybody 1992 SNL, incredible year. 1992 Wonder Years, the second last season, season five, getting his driver's license. Some famous people that passed away in 1992. Willie Dixon, a blues musician. Benny Hill, a comedian. Sam Kinison, there's a Sam Kinison VHS down here. That's when he tragically passed away in a car accident. Best picture for the Academy Awards for 1992 went to Unforgiven. And best director to Clint Eastwood for Unforgiven. Best actor went to Al Pacino for Scent of a Woman. That came up in my my Al Pacino best performances list on this channel. It's at my friend Joe on YouTube. All one word. I'm going with top 10 performances by the actor Al Pacino. Alfredo James Pacino. And Emma Thompson won best actress for Howard's and Radis Horror Suspense of 1992. The finalists are, and there's how many finalists? Seven finalists. First finalist, directed by Masters of Suspense, David Lynch. The movie is Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me. If you've seen Twin Peaks, the TV series, this serves as like a prequel to Twin Peaks. And it delves into the last days of Laura Palmer's life. Next finalist, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Directed by Curtis Hansen. Starring Annabelle Scoria, Skyora. Skiora and Rebecca de Mornier. After the death of her husband, a pregnant widow seeks revenge on his family. Yikes. It's a movie I haven't seen in a really long time, but it's certified rad. I cannot wait to watch this movie again. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Next finalist from 1992 for horror suspense goes to Candyman. Directed by Bernard Rose, starring Virginia Madsen and Tony Todd. When I was a kid, no movie messed me up more than Candyman. I remember telling my parents that uh, I had a nightmare and I had to sleep on their at the foot of their bed. First time I saw it was at my buddy's house. Uh, we watched the whole movie. I had to pee at the start of the movie. I remember that. Couldn't go to the bathroom after about 10 minutes into the show. I was afraid of the bathroom. At the end of the movie, he sent me home. Nobody was home. I was afraid to go in the house by myself. So I remember playing basketball outside my house. I remember watching it again with uh, all my close buddies from uh, the Valley. Petrified. To this day, if the lights go out when I go into the bathroom, that is like the worst thing that could possibly happen to me. Torture me, get things out of me, just put me in a dark bathroom. Candyman, do not say his name five times in the mirror and then turn the lights off. He will appear behind you. Next finalist for Radis Horror Suspense 1992 goes to Death Becomes Her, directed by Robert Zemeckis, starring Bruce Willis, Meryl Streep, special effects, Robert Zemeckis. Last finalist for Horror Suspense 1992 goes to a comedy directed by Sam Raimi, starring Bruce Campbell as Ash Williams in Evil Dead Part 3, also known as Army of Darkness. This movie is hilarious. Straight up, my boomstick. Love Army of Darkness. And the final finalist of 1992 for Horror Suspense goes to Bram Stoker's Dracula, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Francis Ford Coppola. Starring Gary Oldman and Winona Ryder and Keanu Reeves, based on Bram Stoker's novel dracula one of the greatest directors of all time bram stoker's dracula the winner of radis horror suspense of 1992 goes to bram stoker's dracula directed by francis ford coppola give it up give it up for gary oldman gary oldman certified rad all the time too love gary oldman next category radis comedy 1992. First up for radis comedy 1992 directed by sam raimi starring bruce campbell army of darkness hilarious this is my boomstick first you love me now you hate me the whole trilogy is 10 out of 10 sam raimi bruce campbell i love bubba hotep i love anything these guys do together sign me up entertain start to finish up next for radis comedy 1992 it's in the stack behind me right there my cousin Vinny, starring joe pesci and marissa tomei directed by jonathan lynn amazing movie ralph macchio from Karate Kid as well. You want to get a good movie? You want to, Have you seen My Cousin Vinny? You're going to laugh. You're going to like this movie. It's great. Marissa Tomei won an Academy Award for this. Up next for Raddest Comedy 1992. It's also behind me over there. 
Wayne's World, starring Mike Myers and Dana Carvey. Wayne's World, party time, excellent. One of the best comedies of all time. One of the best comedies of the 90s. One of the funniest movies ever made. Best transition from an SNL skit to a movie. Mike Myers, Dana Carvey. You get to elite, hilarious people. Sha Wing. Psycho Hose Beast. If she were a president, she'd be Abraham Lincoln. It's just so ahead of its time. Chris Farley. Are you mental? Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Next up, directed by Les Mayfield. Starring Brennan Fraser and Sean Austin and Pauly Shore in Encino Man. This guy's digging out a pool in his backyard and he digs up uh, Caveman. Encino Man. Next up, Radis Comedy again. Directed by Robert Zemeckis. It's Death Becomes Her. And yeah, this is a funny movie. I don't really think it's so much a, a suspense thriller. Death Becomes Her makes it into a category. Uh, Bruce Willis, Meryl Streep, Death Becomes Her. Next finalist, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Radis Comedy, 1992, Joe Pesci, Macaulay Culkin, written by John Hughes, directed by Chris Columbus. Second one, not as perfect, still a Christmas classic and love it. Check out my Christmas movie marathon also on this channel. December 2nds are for sequels and this is one of the greatest sequels in any Christmas franchise. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Gotta watch Home Alone 2 on the 2nd. Playlist in the description for all the trailers mentioned in this episode. Check me out on Patreon, all that sort of stuff. Up next, directed by Ron Shelton, starring Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes and Rosie Perez in White Men Can't Jump. Billy and Sydney, two streetwise basketball hustlers, form a partnership to swindle people out of their money. Next up, directed by Robert Altman, the player, Greta Skechi and Tim Robbins. A Hollywood studio executive gets involved in a web of murder. Can't say I've ever seen it. Panel of normal people. Have voted into the finals for Radis Comedy. Up next, finalist for 1992 Radis Comedy goes to another Tim Burton, Tim Robbins movie, and the movie is Bob Roberts. This one's directed by Tim Robbins. Mockumentary style satire about this guy, Bob Roberts, charismatic folk singer, politician running for U.S. Senate finalist for Radis Comedy of 1992. Winner of Radis Comedy 1992 goes to this one, Wayne's World. Runner up going to My Cousin Vinny and Third place runner-up going to Army of Darkness. All right, finalists for raddest action sci-fi adventure in 1992 are Alien 3, directed by David Fincher. Ah, oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. Starring Sigourney Weaver as Ellen Ripley. I think this is the first Aliens that I actually watched was Aliens 3. They get David Fincher, James Cameron, and Ridley Scott for the first three movies. Up next... Steven Seagal's next big movie is Under Siege, co-starring Tommy Lee Jones, directed by Andrew Davis. Die Hard on a Ship. Remember, that's what people were calling it. Tommy Lee Jones plays the bad guy. Steven Seagal plays a cook, some elite guy, but he's also a chef, so he's really good with knives. Next finalist, raddest action sci-fi adventure 1992, goes to Patriot Games. Now, this is one of the, in the Jack Ryan series of books, directed by Philip Noyce, starring Andrew Archer and Harrison Ford. I wouldn't be surprised if you see it. So this is like my movie collection when I was probably 19 or 20. Next finalist for Action Sci-Fi Adventure 1992 goes to Universal Soldier starring Dolph Lundgren and Jean-Claude Van Damme directed by Roland Emmerich. Basically these two guys are resurrected from the dead and then they remember who they were and who, who wronged them in their previous lives. Next up, this one came up in uh, my Tim Burton countdown. Batman franchise with Batman Returns. Batman Returns. But Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, co-star with Michael Keaton in this one. Penguin and Catwoman, certified rad finalist, action sci-fi adventure. Next one up is right in the very bottom. It's pink. Next up, Reservoir Dogs, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Finishes in the raddest action sci-fi adventure movies of 1992. Eh, okay. I think the number one thing to critique it would be that there's not enough action. Starring Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, Chris Penn. It's a heist movie, but it's about post-heist meeting up and things didn't go the way they planned. Incredibly violent. Some would say incredibly slow. It's slow for some people. For me, it's one of the greatest movies ever made, Reservoir Dogs. Next up for action sci-fi adventure, uh, 
Unforgiven. Once again, this is another movie that I don't really think of as an action sci-fi, maybe a bit of adventure. Directed by Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, of course, cleaned up at the Oscars for this one. Co-starring Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman. Next finalist goes to Army of Darkness. Directed by Sam Raimi, starring Bruce Campbell. Third consecutive category. Final finalist for action sci-fi adventure goes to The Last of the Mohicans. Directed by Michael Mann, starring Madeline Stowe and... Daniel Day-Lewis. And the winner goes to Batman Returns, directed by Tim Burton, starring Dan DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Dan DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, and uh, what's his name? Batman Returns. Michael Keaton. Uh, Tim Burton around my house is a uh, celebrated, certified rad, regardless of what he does. And uh, this is one of his better movies. Sadly, the last one directed by Tim Burton, but he also, he produced Batman forever the runner-ups are reservoir dogs and army of darkness a couple of those that didn't make it uh into action sci-fi adventure super cop starring jackie chan super cop and trespass that was the one with ice t phil paxson next up family movie night first movie in family movie night is batman returns directed by tim burton starring all those people we already talked about three times and next, Family Movie Night, A League of Their Own, directed by Penny Marshall, starring Gina Davis and Tom Hanks. The all-women's baseball league formed during World War II. We are members of the All-American League. Come from cities near and far. Betty Spaghetti, Madonna, uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Remember watching this one in a theater on Salt Spring Island as well. Next finalist, Family Movie Night goes to aladdin from disney disney's aladdin and i think of robin williams of course playing the genie in aladdin i'm not sure who plays the other people the music's incredible in aladdin one of my most watched disney movies is aladdin and the soundtrack is one that gets played around our house a lot extratus family movie home alone 2 lost in new york directed by chris columbus written by john hughes starring macaulay culkin joe pesci daniel stern next up from bill croyer it's fern gully the last rainforest Radis Family Movie Night finalist for 1992. After that, we have Christian Bale in Newsies as Radis Family Movie Night finalist for 1992, directed by Kenny Ortega, also starring Bill Pullman. Based on a true story in 19 or 1899, Newsboys Strike in New York City. Next finalist for Radflix Radis Family Movie 1992 goes to My Cousin Vinny, Jonathan Lynn, starring Marissa Tomei and Joe Pesci. Next finalist, Radis Family Movie Night. Uh, it's already been mentioned, directed by Les Mayfield. The movie is Encino Man, starring Pauly Shore, Brendan Fraser, and Sean Austin. Encino Man, a lot of family movie options from 1992. Three Ninjas. I don't actually think I saw it, but I remember the three kids on the cover doing jump kicks next up starring joshua jackson and emilio estevez directed by stephen herrick i'm pretty sure it's disney the mighty ducks story about a kid's hockey team i'm from canada this movie led to an nhl hockey franchise next up for radis family movie 1992 death becomes her also been mentioned multiple times directed by robert zemeckis and another finalist story for Family, Radis Family Movie Night of 1992 goes to Batman Returns, directed by Tim Burton. Also, Beethoven. Beethoven, the story of the St. Bernard. Finalist for Radis Family Movie, 1992. Porco Rosso, also from Studio, Studio Ghibli. And I got really mad because I forgot to mention Kiki's Delivery Service in 1989, but Porco Rosso, Studio Ghibli, 1992. Shout out to Studio Ghibli. The winner for Radis Family Movie of 1992 goes to Aladdin from Walt Disney Studios. I actually remember this as being the first movie I ever fell asleep at in the theater probably a little bit too old for this one runner up for radis family movie of 1992 goes to home alone 2 so a christmas one next up radis drama 1992 finalists we got a bunch again so i'm just kind of whipped through them first one is scent of a woman directed by martin breast starring chris o'donnell and al pacino Check out my Al Pacino list on this channel. It's at my friend Joe on YouTube. In 1992, Al Pacino won a Best Actor Oscar. Frank Slade in Scent of a Woman. Love Al Pacino. I love this role. I love this movie. Lonely Blind Man spending a weekend on the town. Next up, 
Unforgiven, finalist for Raddest Drama. That's Alex e. Moron. Unforgiven, uh, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, Clint Eastwood. Western, it kind of brings you back to the classic Westerns of the 70s and six, late 60s, which Clint Eastwood was a part of many of them, especially the Spaghetti's uh, the, and uh, yeah, Sergio Leone's amazing movies. And Unforgiven is not quite as good as those movies, almost. Next up, Raddest Drama. There in a stack behind me, Reservoir Dogs, Quentin Tarantino, one of the greatest scripts ever. Tim Roth, Chris Penn is incredible. Michael Madsen's great. Harvey Keitel, Steve Buscemi. I mean, I bought the Mr. Pink version. You could buy different color DVDs when they came out, and I went with Steve Buscemi. Up next, Radis Drama, Last of the Mohicans, directed by Michael Mann, Madeline Stowe, and Daniel Day-Lewis. Next finalist raddest drama a few good men starring tom cruise and jack nicholson directed by rob reiner he just has so many movies on radflix you can't handle the truth jack nicholson episode on this channel number nine all-time jack nicholson performances colonel nathan jessup in 1992's a few good men number nine all-time to opinion the list i'm going with a few good men like and subscribe this next finalist directed by Paul Verhoeven, starring Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas in Basic Instinct. A detective becomes uh, involved, entangled in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with the seductive novelist who may have been involved in a series of brutal crimes. We talked about Fatal Attraction in the past. Very rated R. Sharon Stone's just a titan. Everything she's ever been in. I love Sharon Stone as an actress. One of the best ever. Next finalist is The Bodyguard, starring Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner. Directed by Mick Jackson. So it would have been David Spade in 1992. Was it Spade in America? On SNL. I remember when he did this. The Bodyguard, the movie review. Went and saw The Bodyguard on a weekend. And want my money back i will always love you whitney houston on the soundtrack the biggest deal of the year this movie was one of the biggest movies of the year really was the bodyguard the soundtrack was one of the best selling soundtracks of all time whitney houston's cover of dolly parton's i will always love you next up on finalists for raddest drama 1992 we're going with school ties directed by robert mandel starring matt damon and brendan fraser School Ties. It's a movie about this Jewish guy that gets a scholarship and stuff he has to deal with. Early movie from Matt Damon. Brennan Fraser is already a star at this point. School Ties. One of the greatest soundtracks of all time goes to Cameron Crowe's Singles. Singles starring Bridget Fonda, Campbell Scott. Movie not so not so great in my opinion. The sing the soundtrack was incredible. And I love Cameron Crowe, and he's just so good at these young people movies. We've had Cameron Crowe, obviously, on the list before, and we'll get him again. I mean, his story is immortalized in that movie, Almost Famous. Yeah, he worked for Rolling Stone as a kid. Up next, Radis Drama, A League of Their Own, directed by Penny Marshall, Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell. Next, Glen Gary, Glenn Ross, directed by James Foley, starring Jack Lemmon, Al Pacino, uh, Alec Baldwin, group of salesmen, and they need to close as many deals as possible to save their jobs. Overall, great movie. Next up again is The Player, starring Tim Robbins, finished finalist for Radis Drama, directed by Robert Altman. And final finalist for Paratus Drama, directed by Woody Allen. There's a Woody Allen episode on this channel. Today on Joe Pinionated List, movie edition, I'm getting ready to count down the top 10 movies from writer, director, Woody Allen. Starring Woody Allen and Mia Farrell, it's Husbands and Wives, one of his classics. But like every other Woody Allen movie, couples breaking up, cheating on their wives, exploring infidelity. And the winner of Raddus Drama 1992 goes to Reservoir Dogs, directed by Quentin Tarantino. This one right here, Mr. White, Mr. Brown. Reservoir Dogs, winner of Raddus Drama. Runner up goes to Unforgiven, directed by Clint Eastwood. Next up on Radflix, uh, we're going to tell you a little bit more about the Normal People panel. That we have voting on Radis Flicks of 1992. In this one, we got Scott. Scott was a close friend of mine that taught me a lot about music and movies. So Scott, for most watched for 1992, he's got in second place, Batman Returns. And in first place, Twin Peaks, Firewalk With Me. Most watched for Jesse, third place, Wayne's World. Second place, Reservoir Dogs. And his most watched movie of 1992 is Home Alone 2. Most watched for Bob. Third is Aladdin. Second is Batman Returns, and most watched is Wayne's World. Most watched for Carol, 
for runner up, she has The Bodyguard for most watched 1992. She's got Wayne's World, most watched for Ian, third place Reservoir Dogs, second place Wayne's World, and most watched for 1992 for Ian is Unforgiven. For myself, third most watched is Army of Darkness. Second most will be Home Alone 2. And most watched for myself is the movie Sneakers. Sneakers is one of my favorite movies growing up, period. Starring Robert Redford, River Phoenix, Sidney Poitier, Dan Aykroyd, and Ben Kingsley. My name is Warner Brandon. My voice is my passport. Verify. We used to watch that movie all the time. But most watched for the group is Wayne's World, with runner up being Home Alone 2. Final category Raddest Movie of 1990. To the finalists for Raddest Movie of 1992 are My Cousin Vinny, Wayne's World, Reservoir Dogs, The Last of the Mohicans, Unforgiven, Basic Instinct, Batman Returns, Twin Peaks, Firewalk With Me, and Sneakers. The winner of Raddest Flick 1992 goes to Reservoir Dogs, Raddest Flick of 1992, Reservoir Dogs, Raddest Movie of 1992, Brad Flick certified. And a runner up for Raddest Flick 1992 goes to Unforgiven, directed by Clint Eastwood. Well, that does it for Rad Flicks 1992. Just want to thank you again. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, tell us your picks. There's a link to the trailer playlist below in the description. So you can just watch all the trailers for all the movies we just mentioned. Click on that link. Also, check out my channel, check out my Patreon, check me out on all social media. Find me, uh, hashtag Joe Opinionated. Love to find out more of what you think. Be normal live and let live feel free to gank my list i won't write you out thanks to the panel of normal people and i'm sorry i'm a little low on facts and high, high on, opinions. on opinions respect to the raddest movie of 1992 reservoir dogs quentin tarantino catch you on the next one Peace.